Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about distributive theory. Now, distributive theory uh, often uses the distributive property, which goes something like this. If you have A multiplied by a parentheses, B plus C, the idea here is you take the outside and you multiply by every term on the inside. So A times B is uh, AB plus, carry over the sign, a times C is going to be AC. Now where this is applied oftentimes is algebra on up. So if you have something like 3 times 2x minus 5, for example, positives and negatives work the same way. You take the 3 and you multiply it by both terms on the inside. So 3 times 2x is going to give you 6x. And you carry over the sign. So 3 times 5 is going to give you 15. Now, you can also think of it as 3 times negative 5. That'll give you negative 15 as well. Now, the other thing is, if you have, if, if you can even distribute negative terms. If you have negative x times 4x minus 1, for example, you do the exact same thing. Negative x times 4x is going to give you negative 4x squared. And negative x times negative 1 is going to give you positive x because negative times a negative is going to give you a positive, and you go from there. So the distributive property is a very powerful tool, and that's part of the whole distributive theory, and it's going to be very integral uh, in not just algebra, but also in calculus and beyond. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief introduction to distributive theory.